Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the deployment topologies of vCenter Server 6.7. So vCenter Server 6.7 has two deployment topologies. We can either do vCenter with an embedded PSC or vCenter with an external PSC. So let's discuss the, the features of both. So one feature we have is enhanced link mode. An enhanced link mode is where we have one or more vCenter servers visible through a single pane of glass through our vSphere client. In vSphere 6.7, both vCenter with an embedded PSC and vCenter with an external PSC can support enhanced link mode. So for example, with our vCenter with an embedded PSC, we can now join an additional embedded vCenter node, replicating with the first node to achieve enhanced link mode. And similarly, with vCenter with an external PSC, the same can be true. So we can deploy an additional PSC. join it to the existing SSO domain, and add in more vCenter servers so we can achieve single pane of glass in our vSphere client for multiple vCenter servers. Now the next thing that we want to talk about is vCenter HA. vCenter HA launched with vSphere 6.5 provides high availability of your vCenter server instance. And with vSphere 6.7, vCenter HA will be available in both topology modes. Even if you're running vCenter server with an embedded PSC in enhanced link mode. So we can enable vCenter HA for both the embedded instances. Similarly, with vCenter with an external PSC, we can enable vCenter HA for the, both of the vCenter instances. Now, when we're running vCenter HA with an external PSC, it's important to note that we're only protecting part of the, the vSphere stack there. We're only protecting the vCenter layer when we're using an external PSC. So for that, to protect the PSC layer, we still have PSC HA with a load balancer. Now that's not available for vCenter with an embedded PSC because the PSC is embedded and contained within the vCenter node as well. So PSC HA is only available for vCenter with an external PSC. And the last thing we'll discuss is vCenter at scale. So both deployment topologies can support up to 15 vCenter nodes. So with vCenter with an embedded PSC, we can have 15 embedded nodes in a single SSO domain. And we could also enable vCenter HA for each of those nodes as well. With vCenter with an external PSC, we also support 15 VC nodes. with support for 10 external PSC nodes. So that compares the two deployment topologies, vCenter with an embedded PSC, vCenter with an external PSC. They both provide enhanced link mode for single pane of view for up to 15 vCenter nodes in the SSO domain. Both deployment topologies support vCenter HA, but if you're using an external PSC and you're using vCenter HA, you're only going to be protecting half the stack. So that's why we'd also have PSC HA to protect the PSC layer. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.